Hey guys, it's Sweet Moon Bowl. How are you? So I am right now sitting in this really t quiet and tight corner inside of my room because, and it's kind of claustrophobic because I'm thinking of doing a different type of video today. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys my top most scary stories and they're real, like actually real stories that I have experienced before. And yeah, so thinking back to scary experiences, I guess in my life, there had been a lot of like coincidences that seemed scary, but there were always those few that were like, what? How did it happen? What kind of phenomena was that? There's no explanation for that. The first story, I'm gonna title it um, Alien and um, it was weird. Okay, so I was thinking about it today and I just can't seem to work out what exactly happened. So I, this is a real story. Back when I was in primary school, it was at night time, about three, like two or three, four a.m. ish. You know, um, those times in the morning, like uh, I would say three, four a.m., like in the dead of the night, my window was open, and you know how everything is dead silent during that time. So I remember, like, I was just lying down in my bed. And then I heard, it was around 3, 4-ish in the morning, I remember, because I was like, I knew it was that time, because usually at that time, there were no cars, and it, this, the atmosphere becomes a bit different around that time. So I, then, like, I was chilling and stuff, and then I heard this weird sound coming out from my window. It was like, I was like lying down and it was like my window was like, I just pretend my window was here and I was like sleeping. Like I can hear this thing and it sounded like it was like a meter and a half close to where I was sleeping. But cause you know, I was on the second floor of the room. So, it can't be right next to me, but it was like, you know how like the house is like a, I don't know, like a three-dimensional thing, okay. So it would be like, if I was sleeping here, it would be around like on the ground, that place. I first heard this um, weird beep sound. <laughs> okay, so obviously, like, I wasn't too scared because, like, with B sounds, it could be anything. It could be, like, your water tank. It could be someone's car. Maybe it had a sensor on the road or someone, someone's motorbike. It could have been, um, it could have been something from, like, a computer downstairs or something like that. But then, like, I heard this weird very very weird sound okay it was like it sounded like an ufo like a spaceship kind of sound it was like in the dead middle of the night it was like <laughs> that's the best i can explain it like like kind of like you know those sci-fi movies where there were like transmitters and then it yeah sounded like that like like and it sounded like it was like a robot talking, like <laughs> in the dead middle of the night. And I was in primary school. And it scared the crap out of me. Like even to this day, I think back to that night. 
and I still can't work out how come I would have heard that sound. Um, I didn't tell anyone. So this is the first time I'm confessing it. Um, but yeah, that was a, that's a real story. I'll try to find like a similar sound if I can to show you guys. But it basically sounds like um a high pitched transmitter, but really fast, like. And like going in all sorts of different patterns, like the sound. Sometimes the frequency is higher, sometimes the frequency is lower. But it sounds like there was like a like in my imagination there was like a robot downstairs and like or a UFO trying to kidnap me. Like in my mind, it was what was happening. So I tuck myself in bed. There was silence for about a minute or two, and then the sound came back. It was like, bidi 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 bidi, and it came closer. I remember, I was so so freaked out. Like I was so freaked out, but I was so scared to close the window because if I walk towards the window, like the person, not the person, but the freaking alien thing is gonna stare right up to my face, and then like. I was so scared to even make one move because my window was hella open, and like even a a brief scream, I'm like, oh, the alien's gonna find me there. So I waited until the sound went away. It was good. I think yeah. After a few more beeps, it disappeared. So that was fine. <laughs> The next story is not that scary, so it's still kind of freaky, but it was like more fun than scary. It was during my very first camp in grade six. So basically,、um, it was me. I went to a camp trip with my grade in grade six, and we basically went to this.、Um, Little like, <laughs> it was like a little camping spot, and then、uh, we had to put, we got off the bus, and then we had to put our luggages into this、um, cabin area, and then like we arrived at the cabin area at about like in the afternoon, like at four, three four p.m. ish, so the, the sky wasn't dark yet, and then like we. I think we went to some other place to get some food or something, but it was like off the cabin. And then <laughs> at night time,、um, we came back, and then like all the kids couldn't open their doors. Like each of our doors were jammed, and then like no nobody came to the cabins at that time. And then we were really really confused.、Um, And then, like after a few more jabs by the boys, we realized that somebody had, like, somebody had hid, took, it, went into our cabins, and like our sleeping bags were were jamming the doors. So we opened the doors, and each of the doors were jammed by the sleeping bag. I was living. Um, usually there's like four people in a room, but I was sharing a room with one of my friends, and so I went in the room, and then um, basically, um, our the sleeping bags we put on our bunks was on the ground, and it was like scrunched up, and then like on the bed there were like leaves in the shape of these evil. Of this evil face, so like the eyes were like slanted, you know those pumpkins. Yeah, so it was like nose, and there was like <laughs> the mouth was like zigzag. <laughs> um, and um, in the end, somebody confessed. Like there were two boys in our grade, and they actually did it, but. <laughs> But it was for me. It was like still freaky, because like, oh yeah. So basically, I went in. Like I was a little bit freaked out,、um, because、uh, it was kind of cold and like 
the place was a bit isolated, the camping place. So it was already kind of creepy at night during that time. And then when I went out, um, outside the cabin was completely dark. Like you can't see anything, it was pitch black. And then suddenly the two boys who like, uh, who screwed up everything, they were like, uh, they did like scary faces on the glass. And then everyone screamed. <laughs> and it was, now that I think back to it, it's not that scary, but back then it really felt like there were ghosts in our room that like ruined everything. And yeah, but it was a fun, it was a fun memory, grade six, because like we were graduating and yeah, it gave really good memories. Okay, so this next story is called Where Is My Food? And <laughs> this one, I think, in my whole life by far, is one of the most creepiest, um, scariest, real things that I've experienced and literally have no explanation for. So this was about, not about, but this was like three years ago, um, back in 2019. So I was on the airplane with my um, mom and basically what happened was that it was my grandfather, my grandfather had passed away a few days before then and then um, basically my father went first, he flew um, back to China first to um, arrange the funeral stuff and then like <laughs> and then a few more like days after that me and my mom went on to fly to China and this story happened on the flight on our way to um, China to attend my grandfather's funeral and <laughs> basically Everything was all well. I was with my mom. We were sitting together in um, on the airplane and she was watching TV and everything was all good. All I remember about the story, I think there may have been details, but all I remember kind of was that um, I was very hungry and I was a slow eater. So you know how like <clears throat> on airplanes, they give you food on a specific time so for example if it's lunch time they will usually give it to you like at 12 p.m or something and then like uh later on uh maybe in the afternoon at like 2 p.m they might give you like a snack and then later on maybe another snack and then dinner so this was around i think this was for uh, for So me and my mom, we were just chilling. She was watching some movies. I wasn't hungry, so it was weird. So there was lunch, and then, like, we asked, like, the attendants were giving us lunch and everything. And then, um... <laughs> and then, basically, my mom would asked for, like, this chicken... This chicken lunch thing. And what is, what was included was, like... Um, this chicken rice, uh, I think there was this ice cream thing which she didn't touch because she dieted. There was this bread, bread roll, and then there was a packet of biscuits. And then like, um, what happened? So first thing is that when she was eating a lunch, she ate the chicken rice, um, ate the bread roll, didn't eat the ice cream, didn't eat the biscuits. And then basically what happened was that after she ate, I was hungry. So she gave me the biscuits and then I opened the biscuits and I ate the biscuits. So yeah, that was good. A few, like uh, say about like 20, 15 to 20 minutes later, I started getting hungry. So when everyone was having lunch, I actually didn't have lunch. And then like, I felt a bit hungry after like 20 minutes after everybody had lunch. So I told the flight attendant if I could get my share of lunch. 
and then the flight attendant was like okay and then like she gave me like like the whole set of lunch so the same thing as my mom got the chicken the rice with the chicken with the meat and then there was like an ice cream and then there was like a bread roll and there was like a packet of biscuits okay so i ate i was like eating and talking with my mom it was all fine i was chatting with my mom i was like um I don't know, I think we were watching the movie or something and we were just chatting and then like we were chatting about life and stuff like that and it was a very good conversation but I was like eating at the same time I finished my rice, I finished my ice cream, I finished my bread roll because the bread roll is usually the first thing you eat, right? I finished the ice cream after I, after I ate the... Um, rice thing so obviously the biscuits were left on the table right so uh the biscuits were not touched they were not open they were sitting right on my plate uh on the serving plate uh what happened was that i looked up like I was about to open the biscuits, rip open the biscuits, and then my mom was like, Oh, you're eating so much stuff. Um, uh, maybe you should um give the biscuits a break and like have a diet or something. <laughs> like I don't know, she's not usually like that, but like um we were talking, so she was just like that. And I was like, Oh, okay. I was like, maybe I'll wait for a little while and then eat it. So I put it down, put it down, did not touch the biscuits nobody came in the next five minutes in the next like fun time time frame of what happened next no one came flight attendant did not come there there was nobody on the left side of me i think there was like an empty seat on the left side of me or if there was a person i did not know that person and like we did not engage in anything they did not come to me for anything or touch any of my stuff um, my mom, she would, uh, she was talking with me and like talking about like my grandpa's, um, funeral things. She was like, um, so you need to behave well. And then like, you know, the usual stuff, like how long I was like, how long were you going to be there? And like, um, because I had school right after, like, I I'm, I was still in the middle of my school term during the funeral. So, like, <laughs> I, I was I was like, how long are we going to be there? I'm gonna, am I going to make it for my exams? And then she was like, yeah, everything is fine. And she's like, we're just saying goodbye to grandpa. And yeah, that's all. And then what happened next was so creepy. <sighs> next thing, what happened? I was like, okay, cool. I'm kind of hungry now, so I'll eat my biscuits. I looked down on my plate. I, And then what happened was that the biscuit packet was ripped open. And then, um, what's even more weirder, I took up the packet. Somebody, there were like... The inside the biscuit packet, it was it was a clear packaging. So inside of the biscuit packet, there were either two or three biscuits. I would say there I think there were two biscuits. But um but when I took it up, one biscuit was missing. And then like I remember so clearly because I love biscuits. My mom would never touch them because she was dieting and um i knew one biscuit was missing like i knew instantly because i just knew um and it was ripped open and i was like to my mom i was like did you take one of my biscuits and then my mom was like no i've been talking to you the whole time we were like talking with each other the whole time between the time i put the biscuits down and like I was talking with my mom about the funeral. There was nobody on my left. No one came. I did. She was looking. I was like my, to my mom. Did you see me touching anything or anything? She's like, no, you were just like talking with me. And you're like, your hands were like down. 
and like you I would have been she would have seen me eat the biscuit or like take one out if I was talking um there was no biscuits in my mouth I was not eating anything I was talking about the funeral so um it was weird and then my mom was like oh let's not overthink about it because like it might be ominous but to this day I had I always had that eerie feeling because my grandfather before he passed away he was actually eating about to eat a biscuit but he never finished the biscuit like um uh yeah he had like a heart condition and um he he was about to eat the biscuit he was never able to eat it so so in my mind i always thought that his ghost came and took that biscuit because he was he he was not fulfilled because he didn't eat that biscuit so like as we were talking about his funeral maybe he ate the biscuit to let us know that he was like ah i finally ate that freaking biscuit <laughs> so like every time every time i think about that i was like oh it must have been my grandfather's ghost who was stalking us and then like i was kind of annoyed though like i really like those biscuits but yeah